High five. <laughs> Hola YouTube, my name is Ricardo Lino and I'm a wheel addict. She's been sick at home. She's good now. And she needs to be here with me. But I did got a box that I need to share with you guys. Let me start by saying that through the week, I received these in a box. Daddy, water? Oh, she's in the water. Yes. I received these two in a box. And I don't know if you're wondering what this is, but well, this is the Matter Code Extreme 110F284A. These are supposed to be for handling some business. Extreme. And then these are some super high performance. It says here, Track Road Marathon, the G13. I matter. That's it, that's what it is. 125, 85A wheels. But then these arrived. Whoa, JD. Whoa, these arrived. It's a big box from Power Slide. Let's see what's inside. JD, you wanna see daddy's new skates? No. No, okay. She doesn't care. <laughs> okay. Yes. Huh? You want to watch that? Yes. Yes. We pressed it. Boom. That's it, Diana. And now, look, she's skating. Okay, JD, look what's inside. Oh, oh. Okay. Big box. And what's inside? Well, I got one box and one thing on the side. The thing on the side is this. And this, well, let me just put it here. I'll show you what's inside this box in a second. This is the PowerSlide DH350 Trinity frame. Trinity because it has a tree mounting system. It only fits on um, Trinity boots, such as the Power Slide Zoom, the Power Slide Next, or the Power Slide Evo, previously known as Artcore Evo. What happened, JD? High five? Yes! And this is the DH350 because it's a downhill frame. What's so special about this frame? Well, to start with, I've never tried it, but what's really special about this is that it uses 125 millimeter wheels in the front and back and 110 in the middle. The reason that it uses 110 is so that it's lower. The reason why it uses 125 is because it's supposed to roll faster after getting the momentum. By being Trinity, it's supposed to be lower. So it's a 110 that should not feel as a regular 110. This is the whole thing around this frame. I'm gonna need to test it. Uh, it says here that it's uh, 365 millimeters. If you are in the US or if you wanna know in inches, it's a 14.3 inches. It takes a maximum of 225 and 2110. It's a Trinity mount and it's extremely solid. You can feel it very, very solid. It's a very solid frame, so. That's about what I can say of this frame for now. I'm going to be testing it and then I'm going to give you my feedback about that. So you get it. Matter Extreme, Code Extreme and G13 Marathon wheels with these. And then inside this box too, there's another box. This is the box. I don't know if you can see it there. I didn't saw it yet, but you may know this logo by now. You wanna see this? You wanna see what's inside? Oof. You wanna move? You wanna go out? Okay. Whoa, you can go to the couch, go to that little couch there. Now you know why the couch is there. <laughs> okay, this is the Icon AG10 boot. Now, it's not the first time that I'm looking at this boot. I've made a video where I had in my hands the AG10 and the AG20 while I was in Denver. Now, oh, there's more unboxing within the unboxing. A couple months ago when I made the first video about Icon, I said that 
it was not related with power slide it's weird to get it in the same box but apparently i don't think it's a sub brand according to them because they have independent like counts and all that but at the end of the day they're all in the same city they're all in the same complex and even being owned by the same person which is matthias Knoll. but apparently they are trying to manage it separately but then they said it all in the same <laughs> jay just said inside the box anyway so here we go we got wheels and we got a lot of wheels wow so so i got some 58 millimeters echo wheels this is quite cool because I've never tried these Echo Wheels, so let's see. Do we got only 58, all of them? <laughs> you wanna sit here again? You wanna see my wheels, my new wheels? No. You wanna take it? You can take it. Then you got three. So I got three of these 58 wheels. It's apparently some environmental friendly wheel or some Echo sustainable wheel. I don't know which one makes the most sense, but when I visited A and they spoke with me about this wheel, basically it's a wheel that it's, as I said, environmental friendlier. It doesn't affect the performance. So I'm gonna test that and I'm gonna test that against these. So the three here are the exact same and they are the non environmental friendly wheel i don't think this wheel is made in the same place by looking at the mold she doesn't want the wheels anymore by looking at the profile of the wheel and the core i don't think they're made at the same place but i'll try to test one against the other it says 85 to 86 a okay it's also 58 ultra fast read oh you lost it let's put it here anyway uh supposedly the same size it's weird because just looking at this it looks like the 58 is a bit smaller than that this 58 non-echo maybe the echoes are bigger i don't know but it, it looks a tiny bit different in size i'm gonna try to measure that i'm gonna try to compare these wheels really cool that these icon wheels come in a little pouch like this really cool i like this comes with a sticker yeah while the other ones, the Echo ones, they come just like these with a little bit of a string, a little bit of rope, I don't know how to say it. That is actually dropping a couple of hairs here. And now, woo, what else here? Okay, I see some buckles. These are some buckles. Oh, there's more stuff here. Yes, JD. Look, there's stickers. You want stickers? These are icon stickers. Look, there's white and black. Toma, take. She got the stickers. What else is inside? Well, there's also some there's tools and there's a slider to put on the skates. We'll see what skates I got here. There's some buckles, as I said. Let's move all of this here to the side so you can actually see the product. And the product is, dun, 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 dun. this is the Icon AG10. The AG10 is a aggressive skate, an aggressive UFS skate that comes with a carbon cuff quite interesting i've been using a carbon cuff a lot on big wheel skates i even used a carbon cuff on a plastic boot i enjoyed the, um, the extra stiffness that i got from this so when i contacted power slide about this i was actually supposed to get the ag20 which is the plastic version i've seen a couple of people skating just like my friend fritz from dallas he does have the plastic version he loves them i've seen a couple more people skating the plastic version that really like them but they told me why don't you try the ag10 and you may be able to use it also for bigger for big wheels because it has carbon and if you didn't know carbon is stiffer than plastic so this this should feel a lot stiffer than the plastic version especially because it has a carbon cuff which from what i know it's the first 
and only until now grass escaped with a carbon cuff. So quite interested to try this. It comes with a check this out with a removable liner, which is a MyFit Prime. The tongue. I've seen a lot of people think that it's very squishy. It's just a very soft material with these holes here, should be very breathable. I haven't tried it, so I don't know how it's going to feel. It has a little bit of a shock of sore with the Velcro. <laughs> Silicone dots, a protective patch here on the side for the cuff bolts. The cuff bolts are actually not exposed on the inside. Yeah, comes with both Velcros, it has a thumb, it has a little thumb here on the inside here, check this out, a little bit of a thumb here. Man, it looks amazingly good, it looks really, really good. As I said previously, you know, I haven't had mine when I made the video, I didn't know if I was going to get anything like this, because these skates are not cheap. This is a skate that costs like close to 600 bucks, so it's not the cheapest skate on the market, but again, it's very unique. It comes with a salt plate that I really, really enjoy. This is the same that used to be on the USD7, or it's similar to the one that used to be on the USD7, but it has a little bit of a neoprene piece here on the inside, so it gets that muff sound. So yeah, that is it. I'm very interested in this. I still don't know with what frames I'm going to be skating this boot. I may be trying it with empty rocker, flat, and even like a... Uh, a wizard-like frame. I have the also I have the new UFS endless frame that should work really good here. So very interested in trying this. I like the color scheme. Yeah, good work. So just wanted to open these boxes and show you what I just got here. In case you didn't saw yesterday, check that in the back. You might see it there. That um, creators award, which is like a little. YouTube plate, I think that's what I call it. I got it yesterday, I made like a little unboxing of that too. Very excited for that, very excited to skate these, very excited to go fast. I'm gonna need to find a place in Portugal to go downhill with this. I already have my friend Emmanuel Pimentel Switch that also has the same setup, so we may be skating these together. We just need to find the right hill for this. It's gonna be different to skate these from 590s. It's taller, it's still long, maybe even longer will be an interesting video, it will be interest, an interesting experience, of course, I will try to share with you within a video or two or three or as many as it's needed. And about the wheels, curious about this, so yeah, that's it. I hope you guys enjoyed this video, if you enjoyed this video, don't forget to subscribe to this channel, make sure to leave me a thumbs up if you like it, if you really like it, or even if you didn't, you can subscribe to see the rest of the content that I do, make sure to press on that bell button, on that bell button, to receive notifications every time I upload one of these videos, and if you really like what I do here, you can always become a member and get access to exclusive content of this channel. And now, just like I always say, just don't forget why we all started skating. And that, and it's because it's fun. Now, cheers and see you soon. Jane, can daddy get a knife off? Please? Hi. Okay? Okay. She's so gonna come to give me a knife off. Come, give me a knife off. Come, 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 run, 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 run. High five. High five. Yes, girl. Cheers.